Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be talking about my favorite beauty products for the month of December. So if you want to see what they were, then just keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market. So we are going to start off with my uh, channel of the month. I've been meaning to put this channel as my channel of the month for a long time. I've been watching her for many, many months. That is going to be Angie. Her channel's name is Angelica Nikis. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that. But I've been really into indie makeup the last few months of the year of 2020 and she she covers it all. She got me to buy the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette and just her recommendations in general. I really, really trust. She's no BS and I love her channel and I love her makeup looks. If you love colorful makeup, you have to check out her channel. She has the sweetest, most bubbly personality and I've been obsessed with her channel and the products that she talks about for months. She talks a lot about indie brands, which I really, really love and I feel like I've gained so much knowledge from her indie videos. So thank you, Angie, if you're watching watching this, let's move on to my favorite products. So we're gonna start off with skincare. I just have one item this month for skincare and it is by the brand Kiehl's. And this is the Ultra Facial Cream. Now this is not a new product by any means. I've had it for a little bit, but anyways, it's basically just a facial cream, a moisturizer, and I put this out for a video recently and I haven't been able to put it down. It is currently my favorite pre-makeup moisturizer. Honestly, the moisturizer I've been using Using. It's one by Maman. It's a gel moisturizer. Not the greatest for the winter for my dry skin. So I'm about to put this in my bathroom as my regular moisturizer because I like how creamy it is and it really does leave my dry skin feeling much more hydrated. So I've been loving this. It is a classic product and I'm really glad I brought this out again because it's so good. All right, I have a little bit of a dynamic duo for eyebrows. It's been a long time since I found some eyebrow products that really spoke to me, but we'll start off with the eyebrow pencil. So this is by M Cosmetics. I got a random PR package from them a while back. I don't think I'm on their PR list or anything, but they just sent me like a nice little gift. And this is the Fine Liner Brow Pencil in Deep Taupe. I don't necessarily think this is my favorite color on me, but it works. And it has a spoolie on one end in a very, 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 very fine tip. And what I like about this is the consistency. It's a little... It's a little bit drier than a lot of other pencils that I use. I really do not like a creamy pencil. So this might be a touch too dry than what I would prefer it to be, but I've been dealing with such creamy eye pencils lately that this one has been phenomenal. It blends out perfectly and I've learned that I really prefer a more dry waxy pencil and it's just so finely tipped. I love it. I also got a package from Ardell Beauty and I tried out randomly one day this Limitless in Cancer. It's a brow dual highlighter. I know ABH has a similar one that I've used, but this one is so creamy. Now, one side is a highlighter, and I'll be honest, I have not tried the highlighter side. Uh, you can see it's a little bit gold there, but what I've been obsessed with is the matte side. So this is an extremely, extremely creamy pencil, and I'll just put it underneath my brows, and then I'll go in with a brush. My favorite to use is, this does not have a number on it, but it's it's an ABH brush that looks like this, a synthetic brush. And I like to use that to carve my eyebrows, you guys. I have not gotten my eyebrows done since January of 2020. This year, I have spent a lot of time taming my brows, trimming them, um, what is it, tweezing them, all of that. And my brows just don't have as much of a shape anymore. I don't have a lady to shape my brows. So this has come quite in handy. I love it. The best part about it is how creamy it is and I can't get enough of it. I highly, highly, Highly recommend this. Next up, let's move into a bronzer. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoying. I received a PR package from Vesca Beauty, and this is a Canadian brand. And in the package, they sent me they sent me a bronzer, and there was a few other items. I haven't tried everything, but your girl's been obsessed with this bronzer. So this is the Soft Matte Bronzing Powder in Kissed by Santorini made in Italy and it's a cruelty-free vegan brand. 
I love this bronzer. It's the bronzer that I'm currently wearing. It applies so smooth. It's the perfect tone and I am now officially obsessed with this brand. I've never heard of it before but now I just can't get enough of it. It's totally a vibe and they are such an inclusive brand. The range of bronzers that they have are incredible. I want to try their highlighters. Their highlighter range looks amazing as well. So overall this just seems to be a quality brand and I've been enjoying all of the products that I've tried from them so far but the bronzer has been incredible. Now this next product I'm not going to talk about too much because unfortunately you cannot get your hands on it. Don't get mad at me. So this is the ColourPop Hello Kitty and Friends collection. Now this collection as a whole I wasn't the biggest fan of makeup wise. I'm a big Hello Kitty fan so I don't regret picking it up because I just love the packaging but the blushes in this collection by far were what stood out the most to me and the one that I've been using the most is is bundled up. You might be able to get these on Ulta. Check my description box if you're interested. There's also a brighter pink one that's also beautiful but this neutral toned one I think is much more appropriate for kind of the winter months. It's a little bit more plummy. I love it. I love ColourPop blushes. I love the colors that they come out with and this is just a blush that I've been reaching for a lot and it's super cute and I wasn't crazy about the eyeshadow palette but I'm telling you the blushes makeup product wise are worth it whether or not you like Hello Kitty. Let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. This month as a whole, not a lot of, well, I guess December. December as a whole, not a lot of makeup items came out. I didn't do too many reviews, which was a nice break. So I really got to dive into some older palettes and play with products that I've been wanting to use. And this has been on standby for months. I bought this months ago and I never used it and I've been meaning to. So finally I put it out in the month of December. This is a Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. I I can't put it down. It's my favorite palette this month. It has so many different color stories, you guys. You can create so many looks, and I love every single look that I've come up with. You can get green looks, you can get warm tone looks, you can get pink looks, you can get purple looks. The options are really endless with this palette, you guys. It is fantastic. Now, the only thing, okay, there's one little caveat. The mattes can be a little bit more difficult to blend. I'm not gonna lie. I had a few problems with mattes. You just need to make sure you work slowly, but the color selection is just so good that it makes up for it. This has been my most used palette in the month of December. I used it like five or six times. That's a lot when you have a collection the size of mine, and it's definitely my most used holiday palette from Too Faced ever. So I highly recommend it. It went on a really good sale. Check to see if it's still on sale. I love it. I have a mascara that I've been enjoying this month and this is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Now I don't love this for my upper lashes but I love it for my lower lashes. Now I feel like this leaves my lower lashes looking lengthened and a little bit fluffy. So it really separates my lashes. It doesn't make them clump up but they just they get so nice and long. It doesn't thicken maybe as much as I would like but that's okay because my lashes are so sparse. The fact that you can individually see them is a win. I just made a mark. But I like how the length of the brush isn't too long as well. So it really is easy to get along my lower lashes. So I have been loving this mascara. I don't love many mascaras. I'm very, very picky because I don't have much to work with. That, that makes this one a little extra special. I have some falsies though. I'm a big falsie person. I don't think I'll ever get lash extensions because I just love playing with false lashes so much. So surprisingly, I've really been into these e.l.f. faux mink lashes in the style social butterfly. Now the first time I used them I wasn't too sure about them but now I'm really really in love with the slash style especially for the price that you pay. Now I originally picked these up for a sponsored video that I did with Alpha a while back and I liked it in the video but I definitely wasn't wearing it with the correct look and now that I found the type of makeup looks that I love wearing with it <sighs> It's so good, you guys. I like it with a nice winged liner. It doesn't look too unnatural. I mean, obviously, a false lash is pretty unnatural, but for the price, these are really a beautiful lash. I don't really like e.l.f. lashes that much, but this one is by far my favorite. The next product that we have is a lip balm. I pulled out the Kiehl's Lip Balm number one. I got a set for the holidays. It was a set of three, and I've really been enjoying it. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. I just would like an actual 
lip applicator, but I mean, small things. But this is a really nice lip moisturizer. I have pretty dry lips and this sinks in really good. Jose really likes this formula as well. And I don't know, it's just overall really good lip balm. It's different than the Laneige, which is what I typically use. I don't know, this one feels a bit more wearable, like less sticky. So I've been enjoying this one. Three more products. We have a lipstick and this is the lipstick that I'm currently wearing. Around National Lipstick Day, I ordered a few lipsticks from Prapa Beauty. I heard a lot of buzz about their lipsticks. So I picked up a big range, but I've been loving finesse lately. I'm still working through a few of the colors. Most of them are pretty deep on me, which is great for this time of year, but ever since I put on finesse, I keep wearing it. It's this perfect cooler nude, and it's such a unique color. I feel like I don't have a lot of colors like this. Now, this is a little bit too creamy of a formula than I typically enjoy. I feel like it's so creamy to the point where the lipstick moves around, it might melt, and I don't know, it just makes the lipstick a little bit unstable in the tube for my preferences, but once it's on the lips, it is beautiful. They have a beautiful range for deeper skin tones as well, like actual nudes. So definitely look into that if you have a deeper complexion and you've been looking for good nude lipsticks, but I like it. This is like one of my favorite dudes that I've been wearing this time of year. The last actual makeup product that we have, again, is from Vesca Beauty, and this is their creamy lip oil. I wear the shade Ginger Lily a lot. This has just been great to throw on my lips to make my lips look a little bit juicier. It's like a your lips, but better color. The only thing about this is it doesn't last the longest, but that's okay to me because it just moisturizes the lips. It leaves a touch of a stain and just kind of gets the makeup off of my lips. So this is really easy to reapply. It's very comfortable. It's very moisturizing and the color is perfect. All right, let's get into the last item. This is not a makeup product, but it's a game changer. You all need to get a handheld fan. This was a gift to me, so I don't know that I'll be able to find the exact one, but I will link something similar down below. This, first of all, for times that I'm dying and sweating, whew, perfect. For your makeup routine, you need this to pick up the pace at which you apply your false eyelashes. So when the glue is drying, hold your lash to it and put some air on it so that way you can apply your lashes sooner. And then also, when you spray your face, use this to dry it down even quicker. It really is just an overall game changer in your routine. And it's just something like I knew I always needed, but I never picked it up. But then once you have it, you're like, how did I live without this? All right, you guys, there you have it. Those were my favorite products for the month of December. Not a ton of new releases in the month of December. So maybe the stuff wasn't as exciting, but it really allowed me to just actually play with the makeup that I already owned. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.